I'm Brandy Smith. I'm Tracy Hill. And today we are discussing Lexicon by Max Berry. At an exclusive school in Virginia, students aren't taught history, geography, or mathematics, at least not in the usual sense. They are taught to persuade, to use language to manipulate minds, and wield words as weapons. But the very best graduate as poets and enter a nameless organization of unknown purpose. Emily Ruff might be the school's most talented prodigy, but she is also the most dangerous. We got words, she told Jeremy on the grass. She was being less cautious about being seen with him because he was graduating soon, and what could they do? We have to read them to ourselves. How did that go? Badly, he smiled. Attention words are the worst. She leaped on this. Attention words? There are types? She knew he wouldn't answer. What are the others? What are attention words for? You'll learn soon enough. I want to know now. But the truth was she had just figured it out. Attention words. A single word wasn't enough. Not even for a particular segment. The brain had defenses, filters evolved over millions of years to protect against manipulation. The first was perception, the process of funneling an ocean of sensory input down to a few key data packages worthy of study by the cerebral cortex. When data got by the perception filter, it received attention. And she saw now that it must be like that all the way down. There must be words to attack each filter attention words, and then maybe desire words, and logic words, and urgency words, and command words. This was what they were teaching her, how to craft a string of words that would disable the filters one by one, unlocking each mental tumbler until the mind's last door swung open. The way I characterize this school that Emily, who is a former um, she was living on the street as a teen. Uh, I thought of the school that she ends up going to as Hogwarts for con artists. I viewed it more as like Professor X's school for the mutants kind of a thing, only instead of good guys, they're pumping out possibly Something. bad, possibly yeah. just conflicted people. Dicey characters, yeah. for sure because she's scouted for this. She's tested to see how big her resistance is. And there's a guy who lures her in and tries to use his persuasive ability on her and then see how she responds to that. He's a creep, um, but she obviously overcomes that, gets into the school and becomes very good mm -hmm. at being able to simply use words to nudge people in ways that they might not even remember. Well, one thing that they state about Emily is that she's not one that is hard to persuade. She's one that can persuade easily. Mm -hmm. So she's really good at figuring this out. Yeah. And this is, this is I guess, kind of going with the flow here, because this is another nonlinear story where we don't go from point A to point B. Yeah. We don't really know what's going on when this first starts out. The book opens on... Uh, someone completely different. Yeah, like and this random guy who's getting being kidnapped. Getting attacked. Yeah, yeah, and you're just like, okay, what's going on here? Yeah, who is he and why is he getting jabbed? <laughs> soon you learn that Emily's story comes way before that guy's story, mm -hmm. and then it all kind of comes together. Yeah, yeah, and that was pretty easy to follow in that respect. Oh, yeah, I, definitely. I was not confused at any point. Um, it would, I think mm. that out of, it is, I would say it's it's kind of a thriller. I would say that it's, oh, yeah. it's yeah. an action movie-esque type book, and I think that this would make such an interesting if not even a movie, like a TV show, I want to. I'd want to see what they can do with this. There's cin like completely cinematic descriptions of like there's a whole big thing in the desert that I don't want to get into mm -hmm. because it's super spoilery. But like the scene in the desert, it's like I can see it playing in my mm -hmm. head. It's so visually there. Yeah, and, and that's, that's awesome. And that's all on Max Berry. You could see how how he was really mindful of his own construction of the images and the progression of the story. 
as far as it being put together, it's a fantastically put together story. Uh, the only thing that I took a little issue with was, you know, unlike with the X-Men, we know what their purpose is. Right. You know, they're they're the good guys, and they are, and they're pitted against others who are similar to themselves but have a different purpose, which is very clear. Right. But here, we don't really know exactly what these people do. Only that Emily and the other students and the instructors, and people above them who are completely outside the school but operating to support the school and keep students coming in, right. all of these people together perform missions of sorts and we don't know what they are. It's kind of like and, the poets are like a shady men in black. Mm -hmm. They look like government officials, they act like government officials, so but not. they're not doing what government officials do. And mm -hmm. in this case, they're just questionable everything is questionable and we don't even really know even at the end even at the very end it's like but they're not all evil like they're they're not they're just they they have so much power it's it's yeah it's a massive and test of if you had all of this power just based on what you could say to right. someone if you could say something to someone in a way i could phrase it one way and you would be perfectly unharmed. I could say it another way, and you might go commit a horrible crime. That's the kind of power that we're talking about here. That's kind of terrifying. Yeah, this whole this whole thing, it's 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 one of those things where it's like obviously it's not real life. Yeah, it's not. What if it was? Really but it makes you wonder, life? like, yeah, like what, what is if? what what about that that turn of phrase that really. You know, or like, what do politicians use? What is the media right. using? It's, What's in this book that like, he's trying to do? It's like if you rhetoric know? was a superpower. Yeah, and, and it, it is and here. It's, it's it is. It's awesome. It's but kind it, of a cool... It's a cultivated one. Right. It's not like they're born with it or anything. They just have... A, maybe there's some... Although there is something about that, in, isn't there? In the mm -hmm. one character that we cannot discuss at all seems to have an ability that seems inherent that this person isn't even aware of right. that comes out later, which leads to all of the really super awesome action stuff that really kicks in hard in the last third or so yeah. that leads to the scene in the desert. And the thing, I so wish we could discuss that because it's, it's, it's so over the top and ridiculously huge, but at the same time, it's like, that would be horrifying if this were a real thing. Yeah. And maybe it is somewhere undiscovered in the world, a real thing like this. And it's definitely a difficult book. I'm babbling book. now. So. That's okay. <laughs> it's definitely a difficult book to discuss because there's so much to give away. Mm -hmm. There's so much that you're like, oh my goodness, all of these things are happening. And you're just like, it's, yeah. it's kind of like a sensory overload at times. And you don't yeah. want... I don't want to blow it. Like, it's so, just... So what we can say is that there's this really supremely awesome premise of people who are um, have a knack for being able to persuade people just by what they say and how they say it to others, and they can get away with an incredible lot that the people they affect don't even realize. Mm -hmm. so. Well, I gave it three stars because I really did enjoy it. Yeah, I gave it... Three, a really strong three. I almost want to bump it up, but just the the hitch that we don't know what their purpose is. Mm -hmm. and it's almost like another book. Right. Sequel, please. Yes. So, we want yes. we want more of this because come on, the best evil villains are just people who speak. Yeah. How who just, terrifying Who is just this? know the right or Ugh. wrong thing to say. That's scary. Nuts. I it's love nuts. it. This has been Hardcover Feedback, and we read Lexicon by Max Berry. Remember, you can find this book and all of the titles that we review at your local library.